Hey everyone, uh, so I just wanted to make a video going through how to factor polynomial expressions of degree 3 or higher, since that's what we talked about in class today. So let's go through this example. So we're going to factor p of x is equal to 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 11x uh, minus 6. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to remember that if, uh, if we're going to factor this, then that means that we'll be able to take out a factor in the form of ax minus b, okay? And we need to remember that according to the rational zero theorem, that the a in that ax minus b has to be a factor of our leading coefficient 2, and that our b, right, the b in the ax minus b has to be a factor of our constant term, negative 6. So let's come up with some possible values for a. So since a has to be a factor of 2, that means we could have, uh, let's see, po uh, positive or negative 1, or positive or negative 2. So those are our possible values for, for our a. All right, possible values for b, well, it's got to be a factor of negative 6. So for possible values of b, we're going to have positive or negative 1, positive or negative 2, positive or negative 3, and positive or negative 6. Okay, um, now let's actually make a list of values that we could potentially have for b over a. So possible values of b over a, well, let's see. For b over a, let's see, the first b value we have is positive or negative 1, so we'll do positive or negative 1 divided by the first a value, positive or negative 1, which gives us positive or negative 1. Alright, then we're going to do the second b value, positive or negative 2, divided by the first a value, positive or negative 1, which gives us positive or negative 2. Uh, we'll also get positive or negative 3, and positive or negative 6. All right, and then, let's see, we're going to be doing positive or negative 1 for a b value divided by positive or negative 2 for an a value, which gives us positive or negative a half. The next one, we'll do positive or negative 2 for b value divided by positive or negative 2 for a value. Now, if we do positive or negative 2 divided by positive or negative 2, that gives us positive or negative 1, which is already listed, so we don't need to list it again. So then we'll do positive or negative 3 divided by positive or negative 2, which gives us positive or negative 3 over 2. And then lastly, we have positive or negative 6 divided by positive or negative 2, which gives us positive or negative 3, which we already have, so we don't need to list it again. So this is a list of the possible b over a values. Okay, so remember that what we're going to do uh, is uh, if we're going to have a factor, then uh, we need to get a remainder of 0 when we divide the polynomial function 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 11x minus 6 by our ax minus b possible values, right? So we have to get a remainder of 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the, uh, the remainder theorem to check for, the, uh, for p of b over a for each of these values, or for some of them anyways. Uh, and if we get 0 for any of them, we know that we're going to have a factor associated with it. So let's, let's take a look. So let's say I guess my first possible b over a value as negative 2. So we're going to check for p of negative 2, and let's see what we get. So we sub in negative 2, and we get 2 times negative 2 cubed, plus 3 times negative 2 squared, minus 11 times negative 2, minus 6. Simplifying, we get negative 16 plus 12, plus 22 minus 6, which gives us a value of positive 12. Now, since we did not get 0 by subbing negative 2 in, that means that the factor x plus 2 is not a factor of p of x. Okay, so we know that that's not a factor. So let's pick another one and see what we get. Um, why don't we try negative uh, 3? So we're going to try p of negative 3. So that's going to give us 2 times negative 3 cubed plus 3 times negative 3 squared minus 11 times negative 3 minus 6. Simplifying up, we get negative 54 plus 27 plus 33 minus 6, which gives us 0. Good. So we got 0, and that means that the factor x plus 3 is a factor of 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 11x minus 6. So we know at least one factor of this polynomial expression. Okay, so what do we do now? So let's make a new page here. Uh, so we're still factoring p of x equals 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 11x minus 6, and we have found out that x plus 3 is a factor. Okay, so the next step is actually going to be to actually divide out our polynomial function by the factor we found, x plus 3. So we're going to do x plus 3 into 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 11x minus 6. All right, let's see what we get through long division. So x uh, goes into 2x uh, cubed, 2x squared times, which gives us uh, 2x cubed plus 6x squared. Subtracting, we get negative 3x squared minus 11x. x plus 3 goes into that, minus 3x times, which gives us negative 3x squared minus 9x. Subtracting those, we get negative 2x minus 6. 
x plus 3 goes into that uh, negative 2 times, which gives us negative 2x minus 6, and a remainder of 0. So it makes sense that we get a remainder of 0 here, because as we said, we've already determined that x plus 3 is a factor. All right, so now that we've long divided, that means that we can rewrite uh, our polynomial expression, 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 11x uh, minus 6, as x plus 3 times the quotient that we got from long division, which is 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. Okay, so we have factored this partially, right? We've partially factored this by now, uh, but we haven't fully factored it because we might be able to factor the quadratic that's left over, the 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. So let's see, if it's factorable, I know it factors into 2x plus something and then x plus something. Uh, and I know that those two uh, numbers at the end need to multiply to give me negative 2, so they could be positive negative one, uh, sorry, positive 1 and negative 2, and negative 1 and positive 2. So I'm going to try positive 1 and negative 2. So let's see, 2x plus 1 times x minus 2. If we multiply that out, we get... Ah, okay, good, good. So we do get the trinomial. So that means that this is going to factor into x plus 3 times 2x plus 1 times x minus 2. So this is the process of how to factor a polynomial expression of degree 3 or higher. Take care, everybody.